Hi, my name is Amanda Peering, and I'm a second year pre-human biology and society major at UCLA and currently on the pre-med path. In this video, I will be covering what a major is, what a pre-major is, how to pick a good major when applying to college, and also what an interdisciplinary major is, and why that might be a great fit for you. Majors are such a huge part of your college education and your college experience, so knowing what they are and how to pick a good one has huge advantages when applying to college. While this video is specifically tailored to UCLA and their major system, all universities and colleges have a similar system in place, so this video is helpful for any student applying to college, whether or not you're thinking about going to UCLA or even the UCs in general. However, each college has a slightly different system and slightly different way of picking your major, so make sure to do research and know more about the individual college that you're looking for specifically. Now you first may be wondering, what exactly is a major? Well, a major is a specific area of study that you specialize in while you're in college. For example, you can major in chemistry or economics or mathematics. At UCLA, we have 125 undergraduate majors, and these undergraduate majors are split into different colleges within the big university itself. These colleges include the College of Letters and Sciences, the Samueli School of Engineering, the School of Nursing, the School of Arts and Architecture, the Luskin School of Public Affairs, as well as the School of Theater, Film, and Television. While most undergraduate majors here at UCLA fall under the College of Letters and Sciences, when you're applying, it's really good to know which individual college your major falls under, because each college might have slightly different applications or requirements. Now that we've covered what a major is, let's talk about what a pre-major is. A pre-major is when you've declared an interest in a specific major, but you haven't fulfilled the necessary prerequisites for it, or you haven't applied and been accepted into the major. At UCLA, each department dictates what you have to do in order to achieve major standing, which is when you're actually in the major and you've declared it and it's going on your degree. However, for some departments, all you need to do is just send a petition once you finish all the necessary courses and meet all the prerequisites, and then you can achieve major standing. For other majors like mine, pre-human biology and society, you'll have to fill out an application at the end of your second year. And this is an application that usually requires like a writing portion as well as some personal statements in order to be accepted into the major. This can be really confusing. I know for myself, I was like, I already applied to the college, I got accepted to the college, now why do I have to apply to the major? Well, this is because a lot of majors at high universities like UCLA are very competitive, so that's why this pre-major system is in place. Now that you have a basic understanding of what a major and a pre-major are, let's talk about how to find the right fit for you. So I know this can be a really daunting task. I know when I was applying to colleges, looking at all the majors, because there's so many to choose from, it can be very overwhelming. So let's start with a few guiding questions that might lead you to a good fit major. So first, look back on your experience in high school. Was there a class that really interested you? Was there a particular subject that really engaged you? This can be a really good indicator of what you might want to major in. Secondly, look to see if you have an idea of what career path you might want to pursue. If you're pre-med, a lot of majors that are pre-med majors are usually like biology or chemistry or another life science. Or, for example, if you're pre-law, this could be something like criminal justice, psychology, criminology. These can be really good guiding points to see how you want to tailor your area of study in college. One of the most exciting things about college is, unlike in high school, you really have freedom to choose what you want to study and what you want to learn about. So making sure that you pick the right major and a good fit for you is really important. But don't worry, once you get accepted into the school, you can always change your major if you find you don't like the one you were accepted into originally. Just make sure to always talk to a counselor before you do that, because there might be some applications you have to fill out or certain classes that you have to take to switch. But don't worry, you are able to switch your major once you're in college. Um, and it's very common. This is a time to explore what you like to learn about, so take advantage of that opportunity. When I was applying to colleges, I asked myself these same questions when deciding how to pick a major on my application. 
I had a really hard time picking a major because I've always known that I wanted to go to medical school and pursue a career in the medical field, but I also was really interested in public and global health. So when I was deciding what major to choose, I was torn between choosing a life science or physical science that would help me in MCAT preparation and in going to med school, or if I wanted to pursue a major in public health. So when I found out about my major, which is human biology and society, I was so excited because this major really combines both of my interests into one distinct major. These types of majors that study the intersections between two different fields and study that dynamic are called interdisciplinary majors. So my major, Human Biology and Society, is an interdisciplinary major because it studies both the biological aspects but also the humanities. Interdisciplinary majors are so useful if you have two interests that you want to explore and a lot of times interdisciplinary major programs are very versatile. Using an interdisciplinary major allows you to explore a breadth of subjects under one single degree. So you really have only one major but you still get this diversification of your classwork and your course schedule. So it's really cool if you have two different distinct interests and you want to you know, study both and pursue both, you get to study the intersections of how they work together and the bigger picture really of this whole topic that you're majoring in, which is very, very exciting. Interdisciplinary majors also expose you to professors in two different departments and you get to collaborate with students um, from different sides of campus. So this can really allow you to have a unique college experience and network with a variety of different professionals and peers. And lastly, interdisciplinary majors allow you to pick and choose your coursework to best serve you. So these are very unique in the subjects that you can take, in the classes you can take, and you really have a choice and the freedom to pick and choose what you want to study. I personally chose my interdisciplinary major, Human Biology and Society, because it beautifully allows me to combine my interest in the scientific aspects of healthcare, but also in the humanities of medicine. With Human Biology and Society, I really get to bridge those gaps between the two, between the life sciences and the humanities and social sciences, and really understand both sides under one degree. Um, with my coursework, I get to take the chemistry, biology, and physics that will help me prepare for med school, but also I get to look at ethical questions in public health, um, health policy, global health policy, and the humanity side of what I'm interested in. With this major, I really am learning the interdisciplinary perspective that is needed to approach a lot of questions and concerns in this medical field and in healthcare. For example, questions about ethics, about history, food policy and nutrition, commercialization, genetics research, a plethora of these very relevant current topics um, that I'm learning a unique way of solving and approaching them with human biology and society. This interdisciplinary major perfectly sets me up for my dream and hopefully future career path as a doctor, specifically a pediatrician, with a master's of public health, as I also want to work in the legislative and health policy side of medicine too. So I'm so, so excited that under one degree, I get such a diverse educational experience. With my major specifically, you can decide whether you want to get a BA or a BS, a Bachelor's of Art or a Bachelor's of Science. So again, like with all interdisciplinary majors, this is really a way for you to customize and tailor your major experience to what you wanna focus on, which I think is really, really cool. So what this means is if you're achieving a BA in the subject, you get to focus heavier on the social studies aspect and more of your coursework is geared towards the humanities in the major. However, if you're getting a Bachelor's of Science, a BS, the same is true for the scientific courses um, like chemistry, physics, biology. So you have a heavier STEM coursework integrated into your major. Since I'm applying to med school, hopefully I am pursuing a Bachelor of Science. So these courses will be integrated into my major and I don't need to worry about taking them outside of my major requirements. This brings me to the end of the video. In this video, we've covered what a major is, what a pre-major is, 
how to pick the one that fits you, and also what an interdisciplinary major is. I also talked about the UCLA major system and what my own major, Human Biology and Society, means to me. I hope that you found this video insightful, educational, and fun to watch. Thank you so much for watching!